G'day, g'day. It's a uh, beautiful sunny day here out at Wilkins today, so let's do a quick once over of a Hagland. So, these little machines here are responsible for a lot of station duties and uh, a bit of a workhorse up here at Wilkins Aerodrome. You use these hags to get around Antarctica, anywhere and everywhere you want to go, one of these little bad boys will take you. So, they're a good bit of kit. I think they're a Swedish or Norwegian sort of design and uh, originally did come from there. The Australian Antarctic Division has a fleet of these that they uh, use at their various stations and they have them on a rotating basis. So uh, one gets returned to Australia, goes through the workshop, gets uh, a full refit, refurb, new paint job, then gets sent out to uh, work its guts out on station again. They are very, very handy machines. They're extremely capable. They'll go everywhere you need, but they are rough as guts. So they're driven by the front tracks and the rear tracks. There's a drive shaft down the center here and the articulation point. So they're uh, articulated in the center. Some of them come with the front cabin and a caboose on the rear or a rear cabin. This one here's got a tray with a high ab on it, which is extremely helpful. Inside the hag, you'll find seating for four people and all the mod cons that we have in all our other vehicles. So we have a, uh, a sat phone cradle, VHF or UHF radio. We have the trackers. We've got the Lowrance GPS system. A Allison automatic gearbox and a Cummins 4BT turbo diesel engine, which is a very, very solid little unit. Here's all the controls. It's all relatively self-explanatory. Very, very impressive little vehicle. As you can see up behind here, we've got our GPS antennas, etc., our low rants system, UHF aerial, and a recovery strap strapped up here, ready to go. You can also see we've got these roof hatches, one on the back and one on the front up there. So if you ever need to uh, vacate the vehicle in a hurry from the inside, that's the route you're going to take. You can see that this trailer here is also a track trailer, so it's using the same drive setup as the Haglin itself. So that means we can uh, use those same tracks that the Hag uses on the trailer, the running wheels, everything is exactly the same. These Hags can tow sleds and things like that as well, but the track trailer is really handy because if you ever need to take them on a station, there's dirt or rock, you can drive straight over it. And that one just attaches with a pintle hook. So nice and easy sort of operation very handy for doing all sorts of good jobs these haglands are pretty impressive because they are uh, have the ability to float so if you break through sea ice you'll be able to float for a uh, period of time there's a bilge pump inside you can see the whole front end is being uh, sealed up so the cooling package is in here that's our radiator coolant horn we've got heated windscreens the uh, the windscreen wipers never do much but the cool little feature from these ones is the headlights used to be down in the front here but when you punch through sea ice the ice will uh, push them into the cab through the fiberglass and then you end up with a hole in the front of your Hagland which is now taken on water so what they've done is put the lights up top fiberglass all repaired and filled in and no more concerns of uh, sinking through the ice, which is very convenient. 